Okay. Installment three, Lefty Phillips, YouTube, talking about my rig. Uh, this one's going to be about the guitar itself. This is a 1997 Gibson Les Paul double cut studio. It's got 24 frets as opposed to the usual 22 frets that you'll find on your average Gibson. Rap tail uh, bridge, which is a real biggie for me. I love these things. Uh, master volume, master tone, three-way pickup selector, and it is a chambered guitar. If you look closely, you'll see that uh, there's plenty of open space here uh, outside of the control cavity. One of the interesting byproducts of this design is that the pickup placement does not match that of your standard Les Paul. Normally, your neck pickup will be a little over an inch closer to the nut, and normally the neck pickup sits underneath uh, the harmonic node that is at the location of the 24th fret. Uh, what that does is decreases the, the volume at the amp coming from this pickup and the relative volumes therefore on your average Les Paul are very balanced. Unfortunately Henry J uh, decided that it was all good to use the same pickups in this model as were used in your regular Les Paul and the end result of that decision was that the bridge pickup sounded very quiet in comparison to the neck pickup. And uh, I went through a bunch of different attempts to solve this from uh, playing with 500k pops uh, briefly uh, to you know raising the pickup uh, within you know really just microns of the strings to actually physically coupling the pickup itself to the pickup ring. And all of this resulted in various changes to the tone and some increase in volume. But uh, when I finally got sick of the whole thing and decided to just use brute force, I wired up a four-coil humbucker, and uh, that solved the problem. So real briefly, I'm going to give you a listen to what this sounds like. This is going to be through my DR bridge channels, and here we go. This is the neck pickup. <laughs> position. And finally the monster bucker. And as I flip through all of them you'll hear the volume balance that's in place now. That's what it's all about.